besties. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyan and this is Kyan is booked. And today we are going to be going through, I'm like dramatically touching over here, uh, because I've got one, two ish stacks of books that I would like to go through that I got signed this weekend at the Sweetgrass signing in Charleston, South Carolina. Um, I know there's been some feedback online. I did, uh, unfortunately miss out on a couple of authors that I so desperately, desperately wanted to meet. Uh, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about all the really cool books that I got the opportunity to have signed and, uh, the special editions that I was able to get. Um, I think I only grabbed one special edition, but I was able to, uh, get some of the, like the OG out of print cover signed by some of these authors. And I'm just like really excited about it. So first and foremost, let's jump in. Um, I got the special edition cover of Megan Brandy's Say You Swear. So I still have it. I still have it wrapped because like, I don't want to wrap it just yet. Uh, so I still have it wrapped, but this is the cover and then the really sick sprayed edges. Like, I mean, come on now. And then here's the back. My ring light is ring lighting, but here's the back. Uh, so this is Larry's cover. Uh, she did an amazing job with it. Um, so the bookmark says, I'll always leave if the jump leads me to you. Same on the back. And then this and then a little note from Larry. So I was able to get myself a copy. Unfortunately, uh, Megan Brandy was one of the ones that I wasn't able to, uh, my ticket wasn't called for her line. So, but I'll see it another signing. So I'll get her to sign it then. But yeah, so that was the first special edition uh, that I got. And then guys, a historic moment happened this weekend. I got the opportunity to meet Elle Kennedy. Okay, so let me take you back to when she was announced for the signing. And I was like, is this a joke? Like, are they punking me? Cause she doesn't normally go to signings. Like I haven't seen her sign up for one. Right. And I've been like El Kennedy fan girl. I've read her midnight rescue, her like, um, uh, Roman suspense series. I've read obviously the off campus series. I haven't read the Briar U series. I do need to read that one. And then I do need to read, um, the Graham effect, which is, you know, the one that's spinning off of the off campus series, the second gen. Um, but I have like the original ab covers. I had a few of them that, and then they're like the pocket size. So that's what they're called pocket size. And I had them and I was just like, so incredibly excited. Cause now they say my name in it and they, she signed them. So I have the deal signed from her. Let me get to the first page. Uh, so there's my name and then it says team Garrett. And then she signs the goal for me and then the mistake. So I'm just missing two of the five of them, but I'll either find them on uh, resales or I'm sure I'll eventually be able to track them down, but like they're really floppy and I just have mad love for the series. So it's just, it's everything, which is like kind of hilarious because Dean and Allie are my favorite and I don't have their book. But anyway, so these are signs now. And if you're ever wondering, is Elle Kennedy like as cool as like she comes off on the internet? And I can promise you she's way fucking cooler. Like she took time to talk to us and um, she's a huge Suzanne Brockman stan. And I love Suzanne Brockman. So talking about that was like so much fun and she was just so cool. And then she also signed, so I bought uh, the illustrated editions, uh, first edition with the blue sprayed edges that came out, I think last November. And I got them for my sister as like a surprise gift for her birthday in August. And I was so cool. She literally, so she personalized it and she wrote, oh my God, happy birthday. And she signed all five of them for her. And uh, she was just so sweet about it. And I got this really cute picture. It'll be on my Instagram. So that's always linked uh, in the description box. So please come follow me. Please come be a book bestie on yet another platform. Um, so yeah, so that's my, ooh, that's my Elle Kennedy haul. She didn't have any special editions or like she wasn't selling anything. Uh, but you don't have to worry because we all brought our Elle Kennedy collections. In fact, like she limited to six per person and I was like, uh, so then I had to make some very serious decisions. Uh, but yeah, so this is uh, what I got signed from Elle Kennedy. Like I said, she's really fucking cool. So lives up to all the hype. Next, I, Shane Rose, I met her for the first time. Uh, she's six foot four absolutely gorgeous uh super amazing like just as cool literally on instagram as she is like in person in fact i think she's kind of cooler and naturally i brought like all my og covers so here's my fractured freedom cover uh this is my favorite one from her so far and uh so she signed uh, that one for me 
And then I've got the Stonewood Brothers books. And I believe these are all the OG covers as well. So I brought like four OG covers and um, I met her and she was wonderful. And I even was like super awkward. I was like, hey, um, you're gonna maybe look even shorter than I already am, but like, will you take a picture with me? And she's like, absolutely. And I do look really short in that picture, but I love that I have it. So I got all four of these signed from her. Um, I will see her again. I wanna say she's going to Denver next month. So I kind of wanna see her uh, there, but I know for sure, I think I'll see her in um, Orlando as well. But if you haven't started reading, I started with Fractured Freedom, uh, which is this one right here. Like I said, I have the OG cover, so I don't know what the cover looks like now, uh, but I started with Fractured Freedom and it was everything. Like uh, Brothers Best Friends, uh, Forbidden, like all the juicy goodness, like the Schmexy scenes are so good. Um, and then I want to say at one point, like she thought that Dante had a crush on her twin sister and really like he's been in love with her the whole time. So need I say more next I met Hubie Tyler. <laughs> ah! So I just started reading Hubie Tyler. I read her like three novellas and then, uh, the seasons of secrets. I read that for a new release vlog that I posted mm, December, January ish. And so I have these two copies and what was meant to be and then love unexpected. And I absolutely desperately want to get caught up on her black, her, her backlist. Uh, because every book that I've read from her has been just like absolutely everything. And she was so wonderful. I love her stickers are so cool. Like she's like, take as many as you want. And I'm like, I always feel weird, but I was like, I want all the stickers. And she's like, yeah, girl. So. I, uh, I have these two that I got signed by her. Obviously, like my goal in the future is to get more signed by her and obviously to read more. Uh, but I, she was wonderful to meet her, super sweet. Um, I looked like a little bit taller than her in the photo, so I really appreciated her, uh, at least being one of the short individuals that I got to see because I just looked short in everything. Um, I met Holly Renee. And I really hope I'm saying that correctly. I just read, so in my hot little hand is the Stars and Shadows series and it's the Omnibus. And I know I'm not saying that correctly. Uh, but basically it's the bind up of like the entire series. I started this like four days before the event and like was through the first three, three books, excuse me, first three books. And then I was on the last one in the series and I literally got up to her table and I was like, oh, I'm so obsessed with Evren. Thank you so much for writing this series. I literally couldn't put it down. It got me through my horrible delayed flights. I like need him so much. Thank you. Well, I like fangirled so hard and I got the last, uh, bind up omnibus of the series that was at her table because I didn't pre-order because I was like, oh, like, yeah, I'll read her books first and like, I'll meet her in Denver, no big deal. And when I read them and I was like, let me go see if she has any. So this is the cover and then the spine. I really like that. And then here's the top, the side, this is my favorite part. And then the bottom. And honestly, like I haven't looked at it all the way. Oh, this is, this is so cool. Okay, so I guess it's reversible. It is a reversible dust jacket. So Evren and our girl, Adara, I believe is how I say her name. I really need to figure that out. I have searched for you through a thousand lifetimes, princess, and I will search for you through a thousand more. Um, oh my God, this is, I might have to flip this around for when I put it on my shelves, but stay tuned. So this is a reversible dust jacket. And then this is what it looks like. Let me see if I can lean back. There we go. This is what it looks like when it's not and it's jacket when it's naked, if you will. And then, okay. And then here's the other side. So I literally got in her line and I came up and I was like, Hey, um, I didn't pre-order anything. Sorry. Do you have this still? And she's like, I literally have one more. And I was like, I'll take it. Um, and I had her sign it and yeah, so thank you for letting me fangirl. Like not that I think she's watching this video, but if you know, she happens to see it out on the internet. Thank you so much for letting me fangirl. Um, so I saw Gianna for the second time. Uh, so the first time I saw her, I, uh, saw her at love in Vegas and I got all my lady hardcovers signed. Those are the only ones of hers that I brought. So she signed 
all of those for me. And then I got the Enthralled and the Antiheroes Duet Bind Up, okay? So then I saw she was gonna be at this event. I was like, oh my God, I can bring the rest of the books that I have of hers and she can sign them. So now they're all personalized to me because Gianna's Gianna and like, I'm keeping these books until I die and I might even be buried with them. So I got male, good girl, sorry, good gone bad, all signed. And then so basically, and they're all like signed, like she just signed in one color, so there's my name and then there's her signature. So I got this one signed. After the fall, I can't even tell you when I read this book. Like, honestly, I probably should have looked it up before I started um, this video. But I want to say I read this two and a half, three years ago. And I still think about how hard I cried when I read it. Anyways, uh, then I have the discreet. I don't know if they're calling them discreet covers, object covers. I'm not sure. But I have an Inked and Lies copy, obviously, because this is my second favorite couple of the entire series. I have priest uh dead man walking i love this cover i love how like it gives very like thor vibes uh that's what i i mean he's not thor let's be clear but he gives thor vibes and i love it then obviously daddy zeus um i'm rereading lessons and corruption right now and like i just appreciate like our first couple of looks at zeus so much and while i struggle with welcome to the dark side i do know that like it is like beloved so i got this one signed then i got my two caution to the winds so i have my dude cover and i have a lady cover and she looks so good um it was kind of killing me a little bit inside uh to know that like all my ladies were signed except for may um so i was like so 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 excited to get this one signed um and it's like i don't know i really like this cover i haven't read it yet but i'm rereading and annotating as i go uh so that will be like i'll get caught up on that one when i reread uh nova and all of his glory inked and lies my object cover for lessons and corruption because we all know that king and cress are they have my heart and i just adore them so much so obviously i own like pretty much every copy possible i even have some on the way that are like special editions and book boxes that i've bought along the way and i actually think i have like two copies on the way to the house because i didn't buy the full boxes and i just waited until someone offloaded it next is good gone bad and then the ever controversial Evolution of Sin trilogy. I got this one signed. Um, I will say that like, I know everybody kind of like struggles and like doesn't want to read this one, but like you have to read these three to like get the payoff for the um, second sister. And then of course the Antiheroes in Love duet uh, for Elena and Dante. So I can't pick them all up, but that's my haul. I'm so excited. My entire Gianna collection is signed as of right now. Um, I got this really pretty bind up of the Stars and Shadows series. I got to meet Elle Kennedy and QB Tyler and Shane Rose. I just, it was such a wonderful weekend and it just makes me so excited to go to Denver and meet some more authors and then even more excited for my adventure next year uh, when I go to Magic with the Bells in Orlando. So. Let me know if you were there and if you see like any really cool special editions or just have any questions about like signings in general. I'm in by no means an expert, but I did learn a whole lot on this round and I'm really excited for my next one. So as always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for the absolutely chaotic videos and ideas that I have coming up. I'm about to be on summer break. I only have nine more weeks of the school year left. So summer, I definitely have a lot of plans for. So thank you so much for watching as always. And yeah, I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.